हॅलो अँड गुड मॉर्निंग एव्हरी वन आय एम डॉक्टर सत्यजित पानगावकर असोसिएट प्रोफेसर स्कूल ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अवंतिका युनिव्हर्सिटी उज्जैन मध्य प्रदेश वेलकमिंग यू ऑल अँड आय एम गोईंग टू डिलिव्हर अ सेशन ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू मशीन लर्निंग द कंटेंट्स वी आर गोईंग टू डिलिव्हर हिअर ॲज दिज इंट्रोडक्शन वॉट इज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजन्स मशीन लर्निंग डीप लर्निंग ओव्हरव्ह्यू ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग दॅट मीन्स हाऊ लर्निंग एक्झिस्ट ड्युरिंग टेस्ट सुपरवाइज मशीन लर्निंग अनसुपरवाइज मशीन लर्निंग सेमी सुपरवाइज मशीन लर्निंग अँड द ॲडवांटेजेस ॲज वेल ॲज द डिसॲडवांटेजेस ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग अँड द कन्क्लुडिंग रिमार्क फॉर द फर्दर रिडिंग सी इन केस ऑफ द आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजन्स मशीन लर्निंग अँड डीप लर्निंग द ओव्हरऑल पिक्चर is like this the artificial intelligence is an overway and the deep learning machine learning are the subsets of the artificial intelligence any technique that enables the machine learning the machine and the human intelligence along with all the other checkings will be as the artificial intelligence is the machine learning the subset of ai that will be incorporating the mathematical analysis the statistical analysis and uh, learning from the data that is the machine learning and the deep learning is a subset of machine learning which is learning from unstructured or i may say unlabeled data so uh, we will be going to see where ai are proving its face there are variety or numerous applications where the artificial intelligence are been used the manufacturing robot the smart assistant proactive health management disease mapping automated financial investing uh, virtual travel booking agent social media monitoring inter team chat tool conversational marketing bot and natural language processing tools these are the various applications and the key areas of the artificial intelligence you can see on the screen the hansen robotics a humanoid robot built with the application of uh, artificial intelligence is a humanoid robot and uh, she got the citizenship from saudi arabia country in the last two decades back uh, the robot visited india and it was well appreciated its function and all so it is a very beautiful example of artificial intelligence another uh, application of artificial intelligence is the voice control artificial intelligence like alexa here we may see that the ole adds the voice control ai assistant similar to the alexa google home and uh, various features are been incorporated in this alexa as well as the artificial intelligence is proving its application in variety of ways as in art agriculture field in agriculture field various parameters monitoring various parameters like humidity moisture temperature of the crop of the crop areas of the farms are getting monitored so uh, another application that is in robotics robotic assisted surgeries now a days are becoming very popular uh, ai enabled virtual assistants are proving its help to the human beings automotive uh, pagers or path ai are the different applications in various domains of robots other than these application the commercial application we can find out in the finance as well so real time reporting as well as processing of high value or high volume of a quantitative data in the market in the finance market it's been proven over here so the chatbot adaptive intelligence algorithmic trading uh, uh, from last of, uh, 10 years back this it is proving uh, day by day in a very uh, beautiful way in a very uh, good way in the sense for the case of uh, finance sector other than that uh, we have seen recently uh, the exploration on mars exploration on the space by isro and it was very appreciated the artificial intelligence has proven a very great uh, impact on uh, these domains 
सो आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एप्लीकेशन इन द स्पे सॉरी द स्पेस एक्सप्लोरेशन इज बीन प्रूवन इन अ वेरी ग्रेट सेंस द नेक्स्ट इज गूगल मैप्स वी ऑन द डेली बेसिस वी आर यूजिंग दिस गूगल मैप्स अगेन द आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इज प्रूविंग यू कैन चेक द वेरियस ऑप्शन वेरियस फीचर्स इन द गूगल मैप सो मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द मशीन लर्निंग so machine learning is uh, uh, the analysis we we can see as the predictive or the predictive modeling we can say uh, enabling the computer programs automatically and improving the performance with the task is the machine learning what the goal and usage of machine learning is to build new leverage existing algorithms and learning from the data generalizable models that gives accurate predictions or to find patterns particularly with a new or unseen similar data so machine learning is working on the data so it is the dynamic algorithm which is capable of data driven decisions so you can uh, ask the question as when to use the machine learning if suppose it is a data driven uh, analysis it's a data driven decisions unseen data so where to use see the example in the clinical trial you can see that uh, the treatment dates say for example 60 days where the correct dosage after that 60 days need to be predicted so uh, we can see that the correct diagnosis in milligrams the predictions can be defined so the 60 days the dosage will be manually but after 60 days what about the 61st day or later on there the machine learning impacts comes so the day 61 will be predicting or guessing the right answer in reference to the previous dosages so machine learning is an approach to automating repeated decisions that involves algorithmically finding patterns in data and using those to make uh, recipes that deals correctly with brand new data so you can see from this example as the dosages till 60 days are manually and later on these dosages are automatically data driven with reference to the 60 days and it will be definitely uh, accurate decisions accurate predictions accurate analysis will be brought but it is always been uh, defined it is always been suggested that too much data that you cannot generate a model manually the manual model analysis is not there not possible so the machine learning is a best option to deal with the non manual or automated data to generate the automated data to generate the automated analysis based on the various or the variety of data or very huge data again so we can say that uh, as i said earlier the machine learning gives an automated repeated decisions which will be applicable for the new data decisions so uh, we can see an example benign or malignant data in detection of cancer so the cancer species are been uh, developed in what sense is been defined in a good sense in a in a accurate sense by the machine learning so generally we can say that machine learning is inspired by human learning process iteratively learning from the data so going to uh, forward in the next slide you can see that how machine learning works so in the true sense of experience in the true sense of the task in the true sense of performance major so the machine learning is learning with the experience e with respect to the task been given the computer program is said to learn from these experiences and learning experiences with respect to the performance major p so it is the e t and p are the learning keys related to the machine learning so you can see the experience task and the performance are been associated to form the machine learning phenomena in the machine learning later we are going to come across with the uh, test in ramayana we have seen that sita had proven her dignity and the tested in agni and that's called agni pariksha in machine learning as well we can see here the test been given by the machine learning in terms of we can see it as a turing test 
so the turing test is a phenomena for the machine learning to test its proven proven ability computing machinery and intelligence is been done by the turing test alan turing in 1950s had uh, defined this test where the human and the computer intelligence was got, got tested parallelly by the evaluator the scenario was like this the turing uh, test the uh, human questioner was asking the questions to the computer and another human respondent was there so after certain the questions been asked after certain questions that was asked to both the computer as well as the human the response were from the computer and human but the iteratively it was been observed that the responses from computer was very accurate and correct with the less time comparison with the human respondent and that was the turing test what happened and it was been proven a very good a very intelligence ability of the machine learning so various types of uh, learnings we are going to have so uh, say generalization over learning under learning online learning offline learning supervised learning and unsupervised learning coming forward to these uh, the first few uh, learnings over learning under learning online learning offline learning you know it very well so do also a brief of that i am going to give over learning under uh, under learning is an ability of a human or the intelligence based on repetitive decisions repetitive understanding repetitive supervisions and repetitive instructions and we are going to have further the supervised and unsupervised learning related to the machine learning but going to that before we are going to understand what the inductive and deductive learning so observations to draw the conclusion is the inductive learning and the process of using that conclusion to form the observation is the deductive learning so to create a model and from the data to create the model and to have the predictions this inductive learning and deductive learning as observed so as i said earlier the types of machine learning based on the different learnings we have seen the three types of machine learning we are going to have the introduction supervised learning unsupervised learning reinforcement learning we are going to have the brief of this but based on that see you can see on the screen supervised learning classification and the applications are the fraud detection uh, uh, e uh, email spam detection diagnostic image classification Uh, unsupervised learning having the application of uh, text mining face recognition big data visualization image recognition and reinforcement learning you are playing gaming so that is a very beautiful example and a unique example of reinforcement learning in case of machine learning we are having the regression as well in case of supervised learning we are having the clustering in case of unsupervised learning in the slide you can see below the classification and below the dimensionality reduction there are again the types of the machine learning and based on these the algorithmic approach is been defined for the machine learning going forward we are going to understand the supervised learning so uh, the concept of function approximation is the key of the supervised learning training an algorithm and the end process pick the function that best describes the input data it is like having a teacher that is supervising the whole process collecting the data produce the data output from the previous experience so the instructions is been given by the supervision or by the supervisor and that is the basic fundamental aspects so we need to train the data we need to take the different features and the machine is learning from the training machine is understanding the features so there is a supervision and based on the supervision out of uh, you can see in the slide out of n number of fruits if suppose the fruits attributes the fruit uh, uh, you can say the functionality as well as the fru fruits uh, features are been known are been taught to the machine machine is able to uh, understand machine is able to segregate their fruits uh, uh, fruits and uh, that is called as a supervised learning the name itself indicates the supervised learning as the uh, learning characterized learning categorized in terms of the supervision 
in the phenomena of supervision of someone so the disadvantages and the advantages are of this supervised learning are it is very fast uh, it predicts the accurate results on an unseen data since the supervision is been done active learning that is the advantage of supervised learning allows the data to collect and to produce the data from the previous experience and it is helping to solve various types of real world computational problems but there are uh, shortfalls of the supervised learning as well the decision boundary might be overtrained that is the overtraining we can say some of the decisions may get wrong at the time need to select lot of good examples so the lots of training is well required so it is time consuming classifying big data can be a challenge as well as need a lot of computation time as well as we can say before doing anything else you need to decide what kind of data you are going to use what kind of data you are going to train what kind of data you are going to work on so the supervision task you need to observe first and that is absolutely a uh, uh, biggest disadvantage of the case of uh, supervised learning coming forward for the second type of machine learning that is unsupervised learning unlike supervised learning in case of unsupervised learning there is no any supervision unlabeled data where we can say that unstructured data if suppose we are having so unlabeled or unstructured data means there are no categorization there is no any similar weights of data data is very scattered in that case the unsupervised learning is been used so user do not have to have the supervision or user is not going to have the working under the supervision as well as the scatter data is need to be observed allow the model to work on its own uh, to discover patterns and the information that is the crux behind the unsupervised learning different algorithms are there these are clustering k means principal component analysis and association rules are there so you can see on the screen the different uh, features are there the clustered data the cats dog rats so these are the unstructured unlabeled data different categorized uh, categorization of the animals are there we need to sort if suppose we need to clusterize the similar type of data then unsupervised learning is there a clustering is a very popular very important and very unique feature and the algorithm of unsupervised learning in case of unsupervised learning the input raw data is in scattered way you can see in the diagram that the interpretation will be there based on the number of iterations the machine itself is understanding how to uh, analyze the data the different features and repetitively these features are been processed to get the output sorted in a different clusters so unsupervised learning in the another example in this slide we can see there are different features of the animals different animals are there so in case of the uh, these number of features uh, the observations and the learning from these different patterns by the machine is there so that is called as the iterative learning and with reference to that iterative learning the similar groups of these animals are been segregated and that is called as the clustering another way of another learning algorithm is anomaly detection detection of abnormalities in the data that is also another example or another feature of unsupervised learning so where we can see the supervised learning having the drawback of this anomaly detection is not somehow possible but in case of unsupervised learning that is beautifully is been happening so raw input data applying algorithm processing and getting the segregated or sorted data clustered data is a example but there are also like supervised learning there are some shortfalls there are some advantages so uh, obviously the advantage the most beautiful advantage of unsupervised learning is that the no previous knowledge required uh, as well as opportunity for the human error is very minimum so uh, produces unique spectral classes uh, with reference to these unsupervised learning but there is another side of a coin for unsupervised learning where the disadvantages has been proven spectral class do not necessarily representing the features so there is say uh, feature analysis is a big deal for the case of unsupervised uh, machine learning types 
uh, it does not consider special relationship in the data so uh, it is very difficult for the unsupervised learning to have the relationship between the data in a special form and it takes uh, some time to interpret the special classes as well so this case as we can see for the case of unsupervised learning so unsupervised learning block schematic has been represented in this way the training data without the target variables the machine learning algorithm in case of unsupervision the machine learning model is been defined with respect to that uh, 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 algorithm and without uh, say the under uh, no supervisions but the input data is been categorized and the clustering or it is been categorized into uh, uh, say different groups and these groups are not uh, uh, been a unique one or we may say these are different uh, with respect to their own properties and that is called as a cluster so in a broad way we can say supervised and unsupervised learning having uh, say the comparison in respect to the input data computational complexity and the accuracy where we can say the supervised machine learning algorithm are trained using the label data in comparison to that unsupervised learnings are training with respect to the unlabeled data unstructured data computational com complexity obviously the supervised machine learning is very simple and uh, no uh, such uh, more complexity is there since you can guess as the supervision is there the training is been made training is been done on the data on the labeled data obviously the unsupervised learning is somehow complex in that sense accuracy highly accurate and trustworthy method is the uh, biggest disadvantage of supervised learning but the less accurate since the unstructured data we need to check out the unstructured data we need to clusterize the unstructured data in case of unsupervised learning and these are say some uh, uh, overview of the unsupervised and uh, supervised learning algorithm so in case of that supervised uh, unsupervised learning algorithm going beyond that uh, we need to check the semi supervised learning unsupervised learning uh, algorithm in the true sense as the uh, combination of supervised and unsupervised learning is called as a semi supervised so we can say if we are going to take some label data from the supervised learning and need to process on the unsupervised learning then it is the semi supervised learning so the semi supervised learning is the third type the sub type of the machine learning further one if suppose want to go for say experimenting on unstructured data but with the help of say structured data with the help of supervised learning then it is say the semi supervised learning so the structured data the label data is been work training the model based on the label data and using that training or we need to use that training to predict the unlabeled data unstructured data and that different applications in the speech in the medical application these semi supervised learning algorithms are been used and uh, you can see the overview supervised learning unsupervised learning as well as the third as i uh, not been explained but definitely you can understand uh, as per as the gaming uh, criteria is concerned the gaming phenomena of machine learning is concerned uh, you can easily guess my further question to the audience is that what uh, the uh, multi instance learning what the reinforcement learning as i uh, explained uh, in brief but you can uh, apply uh, the analysis apply the logic apply the understanding to answer these questions okay but uh, need to check out what are the different issues with respect to the machine learning where the machine learning some way fails the number of training samples uh, influences the accuracy of so the training samples are less we can say the number of uh, training samples some way some how the less training samples ultimately the accuracy got disturbed hypothesis representation is very somehow complex we we need to check always uh, this may happen this may not be happen algorithms can approximate functions but when we need to check out that as well if suppose the data the training data or whatever the data if suppose is noisy ultimately the accuracy got uh, will be getting influenced so there are remedies for that but definitely we need to check out always for, with the case of machine learning another thing is that uh, uh, we can have the prior knowledge of learner help we need to check the training we need to see the clues we get from uh, say biological learning system uh, how can system alter their own representation is one of the uh, important questions the machine learning is definitely facing uh, learnability having some theoretical aspects in that true sense 
so the definitely uh, coming out of that the advantages as uh, for the case of machine learnings are very numerous easily identifying the trends and the patterns is the uh, biggest advantage of machine learning no human intervention is needed a continuous improvement is been there and handling multi dimensional and multi variety of data is the advantage the further advantage uh, of machine learnings are various but uh, we can also see another side of machine learnings disadvantage as the data acquisition is a big task everything is there depends on the data so absolutely one is to uh, check the data when it one is to check uh, the data density when it one is to check the data set to train uh, and it is uh, say unbiased inclusive and a good quality data is need to highlight time and resources machine learning needs enough time say for example in case of supervised learning definitely the enough time is required to train in the case of unsupervised the clustering enough time is required to have the spatial variations to need to segregate need to cluster the data as well as the further disadvantage of machine learning is high error susceptibility machine learning is autonomous but very susceptible for the errors if suppose something went wrong in terms of the training if something went wrong in terms of say Uh, segregation the accuracy will be getting definitely uh, fallen if suppose the training data is very huge if suppose the training data is very less uh, these kind of approaches if suppose are there then a phenomena called as overfitting and underfitting are uh, the problems we can see for the case of machine learning so ultimately as i said earlier there are remedies there are say different algorithms there are different approaches to have the analysis further to overcome these kind of say overfitting underfitting but definitely a programmer or an engineer has to look forward in the sense as to get the good accuracy uh, of machine learning type based on these uh, disadvantages or to overcome the disadvantages for this uh, session i can say further ask you the question about uh based on the say supervised learning understanding unsupervised learning understanding semi supervised learning understanding you can easily answer my question you can justify that whether the machine learning models are homogeneous to the functions that will predict some output for a particular given input some way it is the answer you can uh, check and you can uh, give that answer as well so dear learners let's summarize what we understood what you learned the artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning concepts the introduction to the machine learning as i said earlier in the first slide itself deep learning is a subset of machine learning machine learning and deep learning are the subsets of artificial intelligence in the machine learning we have seen the different types of learning how learning occurs the different types of learning in true sense the supervised learning unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning the different applications and the different scenarios the basic things related to these types of machine learning the different aspects in terms of the applications as well we have seen the different advantages and disadvantages of these learnings we have seen we got to know that various types of say different other learnings as well so i can say the best is yet to come there is a high scope a tremendous scope to understand the machine learning to explore the machine learning in the experimental way in algorithmic way in an application way so best wishes and happy learnings thank you